Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and today we're going to be taking a look at the first week of April. I'm going to walk through my budget and then we will look at the cash envelopes and see what we need to stuff for this week. So things has been changing a little bit around here. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I stuff all of my bills, but I decided to kind of spruce things up a little bit and consolidate a lot of my bills into one cash binder and i want to kind of walk you guys through why i did this my thoughts on it and why i think it might be a good idea to maybe not stuff your bills um, and just things like sinking fun so let's get right into counting out cash so today we i decided to just make keep it very simple and only have three different denominations which is hundreds twenties and tens so in hundreds we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five fifteen hundred two four six eight one two four so that's um sixteen forty and then two more ten so sixteen sixty so our total today will be 1660. And let me show you guys my breakdown for the bills of this week. So you guys know that I do my, my budget on a weekly basis. And for the business, we normally would just take the money that was spent from this week, everything we've made, and then pay for our bills, and then our cash envelopes, and then seeking funds if we have anything left over but we are going to do it the more traditional way of taking the money that we have taken in from last week so we know how much income we have and then we're going to subtract that from our bills which is going to stay in the checking accounts i'm not going to pull this money out anymore because i've realized that I've kind of got the hang of doing cash stuffings where now I know exactly what the bills are. It still is really nice to kind of see the physical money. So I kept the things that I need to withdraw money out for such as childcare and also our cash envelopes for the week, such as our food, gas, spending, and miscellaneous. This I'm still going to uh, uh, do cash stuffings for. And then whatever we have left will be for sinking funds. So today we're stuffing taxes, a vacation, and medical because I have this tooth that has been chipping. My filling actually was really, really old and now I need to get it fixed. And it's, been, it's about time. I've been kind of like trying to wait that out, but it's not going to last any longer. So now I definitely have to go to the dentist. So after I do all that, um, this is my cash breakdown, which I've already showed you guys. We had 15 in hundreds, uh, seven twenties, and then two tens. So that's what we're going to be stuffing for today. So let's start with the biggest, I guess the elephant in the room here, which is our taxes. So today we are going to be stuffing $900 worth of taxes. And yes, that is a lot. <laughs> um because we are just not messing with the irs here we're just going to pay them what they need one two three four five six seven eight nine yep so uh, the thing is that you know our business we my husband and i we do this full time so we do uh, are able to make a very nice living but this like i mentioned in my last video it took us a very long time to get to where we are today and we're very blessed and we're grateful for everything that we have um, and we're hoping that doing this with you guys will help you to get you in the right shape if you want to start your own business because it's not very fun to owe the irs okay so we've already have let's see set aside so far one so this is prop money it's just money we have in the bank right now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the 900 day. So 7,900 uh, is gonna be set aside for taxes. And yes, that is a lot. Um, and that is what is just one of the things that you can't avoid, right? Debt snowball is, is another envelope that I have decided to keep because we want to pay down our debt as fast as possible. So we're prioritizing debt. And so I decided to keep this envelope 
And then the next section of this book is going to be for our household bills, which is childcare. So childcare is getting one, two, three, four, and five. So I think I mentioned to you guys in one of my videos about ch uh, childcare where I'm going to be, so the total monthly bill is $1,700, but I'm going to do like 500 and then 400 for the rest of the month so that it comes out to be uh, 1700 and not have to do the 425 every single week because I feel like it was very hard for me to take out the fives so that's what I decided to do and you guys were you said do it it's a good idea so I did that and now the next thing that oh I'm, I also decided to keep month ahead because I want to be another month ahead we are currently like almost a month ahead um, but I want to start saving for that so I kept that envelope and then actually this envelope I decided to made make a new one and this one used to be rent. And so I created a new one called Month Ahead. Water is something else I wanna save because it's more of like a sinking fund, but water for us is not like a monthly bill. It's a uh, every three months bill, like a quarterly. So I wanted to have an envelope for that so that we can um, kind of start saving for it. All right, so that is it for our uh, bills that I decided to continue stuffing in terms of our cash envelopes. And now let's go into our cash envelopes for the weekly spending. So you guys will be very proud of me because um, for anyone who don't know, this is my envelope that I carry around so that I can spend the money from a, a week to week. And I really enjoy this, um, this binder especially because it's just really cute. And I always have pictures of my kids here to help me motivate it and keep on going with this journey. Um, but all of these are categories that I tend to overspend on. Um, so I try to keep track of it so that we can control our money um, a little bit better. So food is one of those categories that I think everyone has uh, is struggling with. But we actually have leftover money this week. Uh, we have $35, so I'm going to keep it here. And I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do with it in a little bit. And then for gas, I over budgeted gas last month and we have extra money left over as well so we are trying to drive less these days so I think that's why we have some money left over if we continue driving our normal pace we definitely will be over budget but we're trying to make the best of the situation right now for spending I have 10 11 12 13 and 14 dollars left and this is just money that is spent on the family, on myself, that we don't need to justify for. Um, and it can be anything and everything. You know, sometimes I need to get a coffee. Uh, miscellaneous, we also did not spend any money on this. We've been very good last month or last week because we're actually going to Disney World next week. And so we're trying to be very good to save up enough money for our trip, our family vacation. So. All right, food is getting 150 and that never changes. So it's gonna be two 20s and a 10. So that is one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. One, four, two, four, and 50. Gas is uh, getting 90. One, two, three, four, and 90. And then spending is getting a 20. So that is, whoops, hold up. Spending getting 100, gas is 90. Okay, I think I miscounted somewhere here. Did I count too much for taxes? I think I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, that's taxes. Oh, you know what? It's because I had already set aside money for childcare, so I actually did not need to stuff childcare today. So this is going aside. I was just talking, but I, I didn't look at my book. So childcare is not getting stuff because it was already accounted for last week. So spending gets actually $100 because we are 
stuffing both my husband and I is spending this week. And hopefully we won't be taking money out of here because we want to save all of that money as much as possible for uh, our Disney trip. All right, so miscellaneous gets 20. There we go. Okay, so that is that for the cash envelopes. All right, so now for the sinking fund. This is kind of a kind of like a section where I have been neglecting a lot and I think I really need to go back to doing more sinking fun because there's a season in my life where I was stuffing a sinking fun left and right and then I realized we need to prioritize debt but now I kind of want to go back to sinking fun and seeing that my tooth just cracked and I need to have money for medical so now I need to put in a hundred dollars for medical and I know it's not going to be enough but we might have to just take money out of our emergency fund to cover that but that's a story for another day <laughs> okay so vacation is getting 300 because we are going on a trip next week and we have some money in here already so right now vacation has one two three four five six seven um, and we are very lucky because we actually have my husband's parents my in-laws to cover a lot of our expenses for us they invited us to go on this trip with them and pay for a lot of things that we are ask that we really need like lodging um, and so we just have to be responsible for food and you know things that we buy um, and I think that it's just a huge blessing that we're able to take a vacation like this and not, oh, I mean I'm saving I'm, my goal is to save like a thousand dollars at least but if you guys talk to anybody who is going on a trip to Disney these days it's gonna cost a lot more than that and this is just for spending so everything I have here I'm actually going to um, stuff in our vacation fund in order to be in a good position and not have to worry when we're there so I'd rather have a little bit more and have extra money when we come back than to you know be in the hole so all right for, so i'm going to recount vacation because i just put all the money that we had left over from this week into our sinking fund for vacation so now we have one two three four five six seven hundred two four fifty sixty seventy seventy five seventy six seventy seven seventy eight and seventy nine so we have 779 so i think next week what we are going to do is the money that we normally stuff for our cash envelopes um, we're going to stuff it for our vacation fund because you know it, we're going to need to eat and we're going to need we're not going to have to pump any gas since we're going to be on vacation um, spending and miscellaneous stay the same so hopefully we'll have an extra 360 dollars to put toward our vacation fund um, which is hopefully enough to get us through for the entire week um, so we're still going to be very cautious and um, aware of what we spend our money on but we still want to relax a little bit while we're on vacation so that's why i gave us that um, wiggle room so that is it you guys that is my update for how i am prioritizing our cash binders these days um, if you guys know and watch my previous videos you know that i have a lot of different cash binders you know there's one that i have for the household just household alone i had two different binders and i think that it was a little bit of overkill um maybe one of these days when i need things to um kind of be in this crazy chaotic order of mine i will go back to having binders for my uh, household bills but for now i think i'm just going to keep it simple and have um, just one binder for the bills and things that i need to cash stuff for uh, sinking fund will always stay the same this would not change um, we need our sinking funds so um, i think that will be it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoy and that you have a wonderful week ahead and i'll see you in my next video bye guys